Hi guys, JT here, and today I'm bringing you some information on 10 games in Fanatical's Revival Bundle of June 2024. To help you answer the question, should you buy it? By using the link provided in the description below, not only will you gain access to this bundle, but you also have the opportunity to support this channel. Your support will mean the world to me, and I genuinely appreciate it. Anyway, let's get into this. At number 1 we have Unmetal a satirical espionage action game. You control Jesse Fox, a commando in prison for a crime he did not commit, and your mission is to escape a sprawling military complex. The game is a humorous homage to Konami's Metal Gear franchise, with a top-down perspective and stealth mechanics reminiscent of the 8-bit era, but with a unique twist. As Jesse Fox, you navigate installations teaming with guards, avoid detection, and amass an arsenal of weapons and gadgets. These tools, some borrowed from Metal Gear, help you solve puzzles and progress. Despite the adventure game undertones, Unmetal remains a stealth game at its core. If you're spotted, alarms will sound, and reinforcements flood the area, making stealth crucial to survival. Unmetal incorporates modern elements like body hiding, item looting, and RPG-like leveling, enhancing the old-school framework. These features feel natural and add depth to the gameplay. The writing is the star filled with hilarious moments and long-running gags that keep you laughing throughout the 13-hour playthrough. Jesse Fox's overreactive imagination leads to brilliant player-choice-driven scenarios that affect the game's difficulty and replay value. While Unmetal's variety of locales and fun puzzles shine, a couple of lengthy mazes can feel tedious. However, these moments do not overshadow the overall experience. Unmetal is a laugh-out-loud hilarious love letter to the Metal Gear franchise. It's a must-play for fans, combining retro-inspired stealth action with modern mechanics, making it a worthy addition to any classic Metal Gear fan's collection. And number 2 we have... Devilated, a nostalgic nod to classic first-person role-playing shooter games, immersing you in a world of violence and demonic hordes determined to thwart your escape. This first-person action in the RPG plunges you into a blood-soaked journey through a mysterious labyrinth. Your introduction to Devilated begins with the tutorial, offering a decent overview of the game's mechanics, then wastes no time in throwing you into the thick of the action, with a gripping cinematic introducing your character's harrowing plight and solitary objective, Escape. Armed with nothing but your bare fists initially, you'll scavenge for weapons like the Sword of Gladio to cover a path through the labyrinth's horrors. As you progress, you'll acquire an arsenal of weapons, from grenades to handguns, each offering unique advantages in combat. Jacob the Merchant becomes a vital ally, providing essential upgrades and blessings to aid your journey. Devilated's gameplay seamlessly blends fast-paced combat with strategic elements like time manipulation and environmental interaction. Enemies are diverse and challenging, requiring adaptability and skill to overcome. While the game's style rating mechanic adds depth to combat, it can be disorienting to juggle multiple weapons and abilities simultaneously. Additionally, while the heavy metal soundtrack enhances the atmosphere, its repetition can become tiresome. Despite its flaws, Devilated offers hours of adrenaline-fueled entertainment for fans of old-school shooters. Its smooth movement, varied weapons, and unique enemies make for a thrilling experience, albeit one best suited for those unfazed by its gory, frenetic gameplay. And number 3 we have Deflector. Diving into the microcosm of bullet hell, Deflector thrusts you into a deadly realm teeming with viruses and formidable adversaries. This top-down action roguelike presents a unique challenge, deflect enemy projectiles to survive and progress. With its blend of fast-paced combat, procedural generation, and rewarding progression systems, Deflector has captivated both players and critics. At its core, Deflector tasks you with the exhilarating feat of deflecting enemy projectiles, turning the tide of battle in your favor. Choose from multiple bioshells, each offering unique weapons and abilities, allowing you to tailor your playstyle. Progression is tied to accumulating experience through combat, unlocking mutations, bioshells, and persistent upgrades. With each run, you face increasingly challenging enemies, ensuring no two runs are alike. Visually, Deflector impresses with its aggressive art style and richly detailed environments, while the Metal Core soundtrack heightens the adrenaline-fueled atmosphere. While praised for its innovative mechanics and engaging combat, some reviewers note areas for improvement, such as visual clarity and upgrade variety. With a very positive overall rating on Steam, Deflector offers hours of intense action and replay value. As you delve deeper into its dangerous world, Aerofist Games' response to feedback will shape its future. Nevertheless, Deflector stands as a testament to indie developers' creativity, delivering a captivating gaming experience. And number 4 we have Dread Templar, 
a straightforward and action-packed experience that harks back to the golden era of boomer shooters. This game plunges you into relentless battles against hordes of demons as the formidable Dread Templar. While it doesn't boast groundbreaking innovations, it excels in delivering pure, unadult-rated fun in the form of intense FPS combat. The game impresses with its arsenal of weapons, each offering a satisfyingly powerful feel and varied gameplay mechanics. From dual pistols to devastating rocket launchers, every weapon is a joy to wield, enhanced further by diverse upgrades available throughout the levels. The upgrade system incentivizes exploration, rewarding you with enhanced abilities and alternate weapon functionalities. Visually, Dread Templar pays homage to classic shooters like Quake, with its dark and gritty aesthetic reminiscent of 90s gaming. The level design showcases creativity, offering layers of verticality and hidden secrets to discover. However, while the initial episodes shine with creativity, the later stages feel somewhat repetitive and lackluster, culminating in a final boss encounter that fails to leave a lasting impression. Despite its flaws, Dread Templar remains a solid addition to the boomer shooter genre, offering hours of demon slaying entertainment. Its shortcomings, such as the absence of a weapon wheel and uninspired UI design, are overshadowed by its enjoyable gunplay and level variety. If you're a fan of old school shooters craving for some demon slaying action, Dread Templar is a worthy addition to your gaming library. At number 5 we have Terror of Hemosaurus, a satirical and humorous game that serves as an improved version of the classic Rampage franchise. The game embraces the concept of giant monsters destroying cities and adds a touch of satire and biting humor to make it more than just a Rampage clone. While the game may not have a long-lasting appeal, it delivers an enjoyable experience of wreaking havoc as a monster. The game starts with a lack of subtlety, mocking climate change deniers through the character Richie Horderson. As the titular monster Hemosaurus awakens, it is accompanied by a cult that aims to spread destruction to raise awareness about the environment. The game's story is filled with comedic cutscenes and references to gaming and society, creating a unique and funny experience. In terms of gameplay, Terror of Hemosaurus follows the classic Rampage template where you destroy cities from left to right while keeping your monster alive. The game features 4 playable characters and supports 4 player local co-op. Each level has different objectives such as destroying buildings, killing people or wrecking vehicles. The destruction physics and mechanics allow for various strategies including demolishing buildings by damaging their foundations or toppling them in a specific direction. The chaos and mayhem in the game are reminiscent of the Earth Defense Force series. While the game may lack longevity, it compensates for its satirical storytelling, satisfying destruction physics and insane chaos. The charming pixel artwork, hilarious story and overall enjoyable experience make Terror of Hemosaurus a recommended game, especially for those who appreciate kaiju style destruction and dark humor. And number 6 we have Cash Cow DX, a delightful retro inspired arcade game from Pixel Games, the creators of Donut Dodo. You step into the hooves of a cow, navigating various stages to reclaim treasures stolen by the pickpockets, led by the disco dancing Party Pig. The premise is as quirky and charming as Donut Dodo's, with each level featuring different themes such as loops, boats, and minecarts, reminiscent of classic games like Mappy and City Connection. Unlike Donut Dodo's single screen format, Cash Cow DX offers a more complex, multi screen experience. The game is intentionally challenging requiring careful navigation due to the loose controls and the cow's inertia. Quick reflexes are not always enough. You must be vigilant and patient to avoid enemies that appear suddenly. Fortunately, the game provides helpful warnings, with arrows indicating approaching foes. One of the unique aspects is the pickaxe, which functions similarly to Donkey Kong's hammer, but also helps you find hidden extra ladders by uncovering special areas. Collecting these ladders unlocks bonus stages, adding an extra layer of challenge and replay value. Each level, culminates in a showdown with Party Pig, where you disable his music through zipline rides in a thrilling boss battle. Despite its difficulty, Cash Cow DX includes a practice mode, which is a blessing if you struggle with the game's demanding nature. While the music is enjoyable, it may not be as catchy as Donut Dodo's soundtrack. However, if you've enjoyed titles like Murtop, Anilin, and Donut Dodo, Cash Cow DX is a must-play. Its tough, exhilarating gameplay ensures that you get your moonies worth. At number 7 we have Hello Good Boy, an indie game that courageously addresses complex themes like anger, loneliness and depression. Despite tackling such heavy subjects, the game manages to maintain a bright and vibrant atmosphere. This unique approach blends the heaviness of the themes with a sense of lightness and optimism, making Hello Good Boy a game that's not only worth playing on your own but also with your younglings, if you're a parent. 
In the game, you control Aiko and wake up in a strange world greeted by Coco, a friendly dog companion. The game allows you to interact with Coco in various ways, strengthening your bond as you progress. You have four doors, each representing a season to choose from, and each door offers life lessons. Your choices deplete a rainbow timer, and once it runs out, the game moves to its final act. This unique structure encourages replayability, as you can only explore two doors per playthrough, prompting multiple runs to experience the full story. Behind each door, you encounter characters grappling with their emotions, and you can decide whether to help or ignore them. Your choices affect the outcome of your playthrough, and helping others yields joy pieces. The game also features puzzles related to black goo and broken items caused by a black dog roaming the world. By solving simple minigames, you can repair things and collect joy pieces. The game's graphics are visually stunning, with hand-drawn environments ranging from lush forests to winter wonderlands. The soundtrack, reminiscent of a Ghibli soundtrack with a bustling synth orchestra, complements the visuals and themes perfectly. While Hello Good Boy excels in storytelling, its puzzles and minigames are relatively easy, relying heavily on a narrative. The game occasionally over-explains concepts, which may feel unnecessary for an adult player, but ensures clarity for younger audiences. Despite these minor issues, Hello Good Boy delivers an uplifting message in a colourful and upbeat manner, making it a worthwhile experience for both parents and children. And number 8 we have... Exiled Kingdoms, an engaging single-player action RPG that immerses you in a vast, unique world, teeming with dangers and ancient secrets. Developed by 4 Dimension Games, this game offers an old-school RPG experience with challenging environments and tough choices. The game's story is compelling, set in a world recovering from a catastrophic magical event. As a novice adventurer, you embark on a journey spurred by a mysterious inheritance, uncovering that legends can indeed be real. As you explore, fight, and make allies and enemies, you appreciate the game's depth and versatility. The game's isometric view and simple but effective rules allow for endless character development possibilities. Your character stats significantly impact gameplay, offering varied dialogue options and influencing interactions with over 300 unique NPCs across 135 areas. With 90 quests ranging from simple tasks to epic plots full of twists, you'll find yourself deeply engaged in the storyline. Customization is key in Exile Kingdoms. With 70 skills and hundreds of items, you can tailor your character to your playstyle. Combat is challenging, requiring careful selection of weapons and abilities. The game's classic dungeon crawl features traps, secret doors, and formidable foes, ensuring you stay on your toes. Despite its rough edges, including dated visuals and occasional stiffness in animations, Exile Kingdoms excels in its core gameplay. The developer's commitment is evident in the game's extensive content, handcrafted over four years. With over 120 hours of gameplay, the game promises both longevity and replayability. And number 9 we have... Donut Dodo In Donut Dodo, you embark on a nostalgic journey through the arcade classics of yesteryear, with a quirky twist featuring a dodo as the antagonist. As Chef Billy Burns, your mission is simple collect donuts, and avoid everything else that moves, which is actually a lot to ask for in this game. From menacing toilets to fiery flames and even a giant fireball spewing dodo, every element in the game spells danger. With each stage presenting new challenges and layouts, you'll need lightning fast reflexes and strategic thinking to survive. Donut Dodo's gameplay harks back to the golden age of arcade platformers, offering a steep yet gratifying learning curve. The levels are meticulously designed to test your skills, ensuring every victory feels hard-earned and rewarding. Visually, Donut Dodo is a treat for the eyes, boasting a gorgeous retro aesthetic that pays homage to classic arcade games. The vibrant colors, bouncy animations, and nostalgic sound effects creates an immersive experience that will transport you back to the heyday of arcade gaming. However, Donut Dodo's unrelenting difficulty might deter modern gamers seeking a more forgiving experience. With only 5 stages to conquer, some may find the game's brevity disappointing. Yet, for fans of old-school arcade challenges, Donut Dodo is a lovingly crafted homage that hits all the right notes. So grab your controller or keyboard, prepare for countless retries, and embark on this thrilling retro adventure. At number 10 we have... Super Blood Hockey, a wild retro-inspired sports game that combines the charm of 8 and 16-bit hockey classics with a unique bloody twist. This game offers a brutally fun experience that stands out in the arcade-style sports genre. In Super Blood Hockey, you dive into the chaotic matches where over-the-top injuries, including death, are just part of the game. The franchise mode, 
a standout feature, places you as a coach in a grim international league. You recruit from 99 prisoners, manage your budget, and deal with extreme consequences like players dying on the ice or from starvation. This dark humor adds depth and a distinct flavor to the game, making it unsuitable for children but captivating for adults. The gameplay is smooth and intuitive, allowing you to aim shots accurately and execute powerful one-timers. Different player types, such as snipers and enforcers, bring variety and strategic elements to each match. Fights are a regular occurrence, with the winning team gaining a boost and the losing team suffering injuries. These brawls add an exciting layer to the gameplay, making each victory more satisfying. Complementing the gameplay is an upbeat 8-bit soundtrack by Sean Daly, which perfectly captures the retro vibe and enhances the overall experience. The game's various modes, including exhibition, tournament, and challenge modes, offer additional replay value and unlockable content. Super Blood Hockey shines in its multiplayer, delivering intense, hilarious matches with friends. Its simplicity, combined with the strategic depth and nostalgic charm, makes it a must-play for fans of arcade sports games. Despite minor difficulty issues, this game is a fantastic homage to the retro era, providing hours of bloody good fun. And that's all for this bundle. This bundle is a treasure trove for indie game enthusiasts. Standout titles include Unmetal, a brilliant parody of Metal Gear, Devilated, and Dread Templar, which offer exhilarating high-speed shooting action, and Exiled Kingdoms, a nostalgic nod to classic RPGs. Additionally, Super Indie Cards brings rare racing excitement to the mix. With such a diverse and high-caliber selection of games, I highly recommend this bundle for its exceptional variety and quality. In any case, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if this video was helpful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.